Welcome to our lecture online. Now let's take a look at an example of how to apply the time scaling property of Fourier transforms. So here we have the property and here we have the problem. Given that the Fourier transform of some input function which equals the Fourier transform in the frequency domain which is equal to 10 over the quantity 2 plus j omega times 5 plus j omega. Now what if the input now becomes f of minus 3t. How will that change the outcome? How will that change the Fourier transform? Do we have to go back and recalculate all that? The answer is no. We can simply take that and use our time scaling property, which means that the Fourier transform will look like 1 over, now the constant is minus 3, so it will be the absolute value of minus 3, times the Fourier transform, where we're going to replace every omega by omega divided by a, in this case, omega divided by minus 3. So that's the only change we have to make. Let's apply that to our problem right there. So this will become equal to 1 over 3 times the Fourier transform with every omega replaced by that. So let's go ahead and do that. That's uh, times 10 divided by 2 plus j. And then here, instead of omega, we're going to write omega divided by minus 3. And that's then multiplied times 5 plus j times omega over minus 3. Like so. So we simply put in a 1 over 3 in the front and replace every omega by omega over minus 3. And then we have to simplify that. So first of all, this negative can come out here and make that a negative as well. And then we can factor out a negative 3 out of each one of those. I think that's what we're going to do, or just a 3. So this becomes equal to 1 over 3 times 10 divided by 1 over 3 times. Now this will have to become a 6 because 1 third times 6 gives us a 2. And then this gives us a minus j omega. And then that is multiplied times. Again, we're going to pull out a 1 over 3 times, this will have to be 15, because 15 divided by 3 is 5, minus, from this minus sign here, and that's again going to be j times omega. We have a one-third in the numerator, we have a one-third in the denominator, and one-third in the denominator. So this one-third will cancel out one of these, and this one-third comes out, which is in the denominator, which then can get the reciprocal taken, and that makes 3 times 10, or 30, divided by 6 minus j omega times 15 minus j omega. And this then would be the new Fourier transform of this input function where instead of having f of t it becomes f of minus 3t. So we take the result of the first Fourier transform and simply transfer it into a different form without having to recalculate the Fourier transform. So that makes it a lot easier. Again, a very handy property that can come in handy by once you have one result of a Fourier transform, then as you shift the time, in other words, you scale the time to a different number here, you can see how that affects the Fourier transform and the frequency domain output. And that's how it's done.